Welcome to Learn from the Experts, presented by the Women's Business Owners Alliance of the Pioneer Valley. The WBOA is made up of women entrepreneurs. The business women you will see on this program are all members of the WBOA, and they are excited to share their expertise and knowledge to our viewers. So sit back, relax, and let them wow you with their expertise. My name is Freda Brown from Divorce Financial Services, and my co-host is... I'm Mary Jo Cranmore, and I'm from Client Cycle Marketing, and our guest today is Lori Fortuna. We're talking about mentoring today, so Lori, share with us, let's just talk about what is mentoring. Oh, it's a, a topic very near and dear to my heart. It's, uh, gosh, I've, I forget how many years I've been involved in it, uh, but it's it's really a, a partnership uh, with, with it, two people, sometimes it's more, that essentially sh someone knows something that does that the other doesn't know so you know it might be in a work situation it might be a new employee that comes on board that that needs to be shadowed by a more experienced employee you know that experienced employee is going to share the knowledge that they understand about the job and the culture and the business and all of that with that new employee um, it could be similar to uh, WBOA is kicking off a mentor program this year where we're actually this fall partnering with Spring Field Technical Community College and their you know, female business students that are interested in uh, uh, at some point becoming an entrepreneur, we're going to be partnering with them. So when, you know, WBOA members are going to mentor some of those gals for them to get a sense of, gee, is this something I really want to pursue once I'm done with school? Right, it's not for everyone. Yeah, <laughs> no, and, and until you get in and really investigate and really get to have a full understanding of it, you just don't know. All right, so tell me what that would look like if you mentor someone from the college. How does that, is it a year long? How, what is the process? So it can vary. I've been in programs that have been a year long. Um, the, the WBOA mentor program, we're actually breaking it up. We're doing one in the, in the fall and then one in the spring. So essentially we'll be, the, uh, the mentor and mentee will be meeting over uh, six meetings. Uh, most of them will be formal settings where we'll, it, it'll be an hour and a half, two hour setting where we'll kick off with a speaker that will talk on a topic that the mentees choose that are applicable to them. So we'll kick it off there and then the rest of the time what they'll be doing is spending that one-on-one -on -one time with their mentor. Uh, and then the, the, the sixth meeting is basically a half day where they're actually job shadowing that, that mentor to get a sense of what's a day in the life? You know, what, what do you do when, you know, uh, you know, with your clients? What do you do to, you know, to, to make your business a success? Um, and, and, you know, that's going to look differently for, you know, everyone because, you know, we actually have WBOA members, you know, that, that are, con you know, that are in counseling and, you know, even myself as a coach where, you know, I can't necessarily bring um, a mentee into that, but uh, we'll, there are other ways that we can actually expose them to what we do uh, for them to get a, get a flavor for whether or not it's something that they're really interested in doing. So what are the kind of questions when they're on their one-on-one -on -one time do they talk about? What are they, you know, do, do we have a list and I'm going to talk about this today? Or how, how do you, how do you, do they initiate that conversation? Um, and could somebody be a mentor to someone that's not part of a program. How, how does that all work? It's, it's really interesting how it evolves. There's no two relationships, mentor-mentee relationships alike. I mean, it, and it really is true because ultimately a mentee has different desires and aspirations and curiosities uh, and, and every mentor is unique as well. So it usually starts out with the first meeting what brought you to this program? What, what, what intrigued you about wanting to have this relationship? And together it evolves into a really awesome journey. Um, so how do you match amazing. people? Are, are you matching people or is it just sort of like you're first up and that and there you go. Yeah, so we're really excited. We we, we put it out to the WBOA uh, team and and we have had people raise their hands uh, that were really interested in wanting to help some some of the students. So we have those folks all allocated and now we're 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 waiting for school to start because we now need to then, you know, see who it, who at Springfield Technical Community College is interested in doing it and we'll, they're going to fill out an application and then we're going to to match as closely as we can with what they want to get out of a program and what the background is of is from our members. So it may not be what you think when you first walk in, mm -hmm. right? You're coming to the table, you know, I've had a business for seven years, I've, you know, I've done this, I've done that. A, a young woman comes to me and says, I'd really like to learn 
this, or I'd really like to just see what your life is like, or I'd really, and I ju you just kind of need to be open to it, right? Whatever that person needs, yeah. Ha, right? Yeah, and it's really the mentee's agenda. I mean, certainly that you can be gu guided by the mentor if they're just lost or not sure, or, you know, there's just an opportunity that's screaming that could benefit the mentee. You know, the suggestion can certainly be put on the table, but it's really, you know, the mentee is, in cur you know, it, it's just curious about what's going on, about running a business and, and everything that, you know, because in a few, you know, once they graduate, they're going to have a lot of decisions to make. And this is going to hopefully help satisfy their curiosity to know, gee, do I want to, do I want to eventually open my own business and do that? And that's what we're hoping that, you know, this, this relationship will, will hopefully answer some of those questions for them. And, and the mentors, they're volunteers. They're just doing it out of the goodness of the, their hearts because they want to help and grow individuals. And there's, so what, what, what's in it for the, men, the, the mentors then? Well, and that's and it's a great point. So I've mentored and been a mentee so many different times, and I always thought, okay, well, when I'm a mentee, I get something. And then when I started mentoring, it shocked me because I got so much from a relationship because of all, you know all of the just they give you a different perspective. You learn different things. You know, um, you know. I mean, in, the, in today's day and age, uh, you know, re the most recent aha was just around technology because younger kids you know, know so much more about technology. So it was, it was, it was a win-win in the last relationship that I had because I was sharing the knowledge that I've had from my work experience, but you know, they, they, they were very knowledgeable about, you know, things that I could do from a technological perspective. So you never know, but I've never walked away as a mentor not feeling like, I, I almost felt like I, I didn't feel, I always knew that I gave, but I just felt like I was, I was the winner of the recipient, you know, the, the recipient of the gifts because it was, it's just such a special relationship. And the really neat part is, is that most times if it's a great match, usually it doesn't end after that, after the program officially ends, it goes on. You know, I still stay in touch with my mentees and my mentors, you know, um, you know, have coffee occasionally, pick up the phone and talk to them occasionally. Just, you know, if I've got a, a big issue, a big uh, decision I want to make or something to run by them um, or, and vice versa, it's just a, a really great relationship to continue nurturing, you know, well beyond the program. And there's people that are, um, will say that so-and-so is a, a mentor to me and that person might not even know that they're a mentor to, to them. Is that right? It is. It is. So how does it that is. work? What's, what's happening with that? Yeah, well, I, so, there, so there's been times that I've, I've, I've joined companies and they haven't had a, a program. And I've come from a company that has a, had a formal program. And to me, I, I'm the type of person that likes to always learn and grow. So when I find somebody that you know, I always say I want to be them when I grow up, um, you know, ultimately because they're doing things that that are just wowing me. They're intriguing me. I, you know, I, I want to spend time with them and learn all about that. So it's, it's really just, you know, it could be over lunch, learning, learning about something. You know, sometimes I've gone to somebody and said, I'd like you to be my mentor. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a formal program between us, but I, you know, love to spend some time just picking your brain about some of the things that you did, how you got to where you were. And then other times it's just, you know, your paths cross and you gain that knowledge and you understand how they got to where they were. And it's, um, it's knowledge that's never going to leave you because you're going to think mm -hmm. about, uh, mm -hmm. about it and make your decisions based on what you've heard. So sometimes, you know, when everybody's in a learning phase, there's a time when you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. And then you become knowledgeable about what you don't know. And that seems like that is the, you know, when you're in a mentor situation, that's what that has always done for me is like, Oh, I didn't even realize all the capabilities or all the things I'm going to be into as an entrepreneur. Yeah. That's what the aha was for me, yeah. right? So share with me some of the aha moments you might have had over your time as a mentee. Yeah, so I mean, uh, one one was when I joined a company, and I, you know, I just had someone take me under their wing. So I was a mentee, and and it w I just didn't see a lot of. Um, I didn't get a sense of the culture. I was younger in my career, so I didn't think to ask those those probing questions to really interview the company. I was just I wanted to get the job, you know. Uh, so it, it really they really kind of took me under their wing to show show me the ropes, and it helped me because as I think we've all known in corporate America, you know, you really need to toe the line from a standpoint of just you know being 
politically correct. Uh, so I, you know that that really really benefited me. Not, and I don't I don't think knowing going into it, I had any idea that that's what I was gaining from it. I was thinking I was going to learn how to do my job mm -hmm. um, more than anything. Uh, but it really was so much more that I took well beyond that position, you know, to any uh, any of my other corporate positions. So that's a culture question too. As an entrepreneur, there is a culture, even though a lot of us work by ourselves, mm -hmm. there is a culture. And I believe now there is that sort of sharing a lot more. There's a sharing among entrepreneurs, sharing of knowledge, sharing, you know, help me, help me, help me. And there's no money changes hands, but it's kind of a nice thing. So yeah. you're mentoring entrepreneurs who are going to be working by themselves. Mm -hmm. um, what are the, what do you think some of the issues are going to come up for them about working by themselves? Is it going to be a well, cultural thing, or is it? It's going to be a, a, going to be a mixed bag. I mean, I don't know that they've made the decision that they want to be an entrepreneur mm -hmm. yet. They're really kind of pursuing it, but ultimately they're going to get to get a sense of understanding some of the things that you know you just mentioned. That oh my goodness, that's, sixty percent that's, of the job is not what you love to do, yeah, right? I mean, that's and that's kind so, of part of exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. There's so many things that you know uh, at, at their at the point in their career, they're not they're not thinking. Oh, I need to you know. Check my PL and I need to, do, you know, <laughs> worry about marketing and oh, right. the, you know, people aren't going to just show up at my my door wherever it is, whether it's out of my home or, or wherever, and just ring my doorbell and want to come work with me. I mean, you there's mean a lot of work. If I build it, they that. won't come. That, no, <laughs> and you know, and, and 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 good entrepreneurs make it look easy. So ultimately, you know, think about these mentees looking in at at, at, at successful entrepreneurs, okay. and they're thinking, well, that's my that. That's what happens. I build it, and they'll build come. It's easy. Well, so, you know, sometimes yeah. the, the thing that found, I found interesting about entrepreneurs, and we'll talk about the mentors as how this would, you know, connect back to that. But as an innovation cycle, you start a business, and you think, oh, once I get past a certain place, it's just going to, oh, just be successful forever. But there's an innovation cycle that takes place within an entrepreneurial system, right? Mm -hmm. And so. How do you share with them, oh, how do you know when something has to happen new in your business? Or how do you know? I mean, these are things that yeah. for someone coming out of college in a very specific environment, I get a grade, I move to the next class, yeah. it's very, that seems very linear. Yeah. This is not a linear experience. Yeah, correct? yeah, very, very, no, it isn't. And, and for each men mentee, it would be different. Um, ultimately, and that's a good thing, that's a good point. One of the, one of the, the hopes is with the, sp the guest speakers that we're having, which are all volunteers from WBOA as mm -hmm. well, um, they'll be talking on topics that, that the mentees feel will be really necessary for them to get a full understanding. Now, we've already provided them with what we, you know, a, a laundry list of, of topics that we think would be beneficial to them. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to pick the top five to oh, be able to, to hear more about. So we're hoping you know each meeting will get kicked off with that, mm -hmm. and then ultimately the next the rest of the meeting will be one on one time with the mentor. Mentor. So you know, I, my guess is you know part of what mm -hmm. they heard in that in that presentation is going to be um, a topic, and then you know whatever else it morphs into throughout the rest of the conversation. So you really have to kind of be ready for anything. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> really. Really. You know. Good. Good training for from an good. entrepreneur. Right. Yeah. Ready for Anything. Yeah, and, for and sure. you have a really positive attitude, and I think that mm -hmm. helps mm -hmm. when you're presenting a program, or mm -hmm. even even just talking about anything with a, somebody who's um, needs to be mentored. Mm -hmm. It's just keeping that positive, mm -hmm. that openness to what they have to say and and, and share it back. And yeah. I think that uh, whether we're part of a program as a mentor or not as a mentor, if we keep that positiveness about us all the time. And share when, with mm -hmm. ever, whoever we're with. Yeah, it'll go a long way. That's a great point, Freda. It really is. That's so important because um, you know you're going to hit bumps along the way in a business. I mean, you know, we've all experienced it, and and ultimately that positive attitude helps you get over the bump and on to the next thing, and and keep pushing through to 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 get to where you want to be. Well, are there things that that's a very good point about the positive nature of how you do a business? Are there things you really have a, a feeling about sharing that you really want to? Make sure that people understand when you're mentoring them. I, I mean, I I go into it think you know thinking, geez, the, these are things that I'm that I'm that I think would be beneficial. But again, it's it's really up to the mentee and what they're interested. in. I don't look at it as when we graduate mm -hmm. the fall the mm -hmm. fall program. You know, at our December breakfast meeting, you know, I don't look at it that the relationship ends from there. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, if 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 it ends up ending, you know, then. 
that's you know it is what it is but I don't look at it as it'll end because my door will always oh, be absolutely. open you know so. and they'll be, there will be things beyond that once they graduate from school that they'll you know things are going to continually happen and and questions yeah. are, are going to continually arise you're building that bridge yeah. really yeah. Of communication yeah. and you know when they get into a place that they don't is not familiar that door is always open right absolutely absolutely Absolutely. Very good. Well, Lori, is there anything yeah. you'd like to share additionally to what we talked about? This so, I mean, it's a really amazing program. Yeah. No, I, I'm just really super excited. I mean, the the the, the WBOA members have have embraced it, run with it, and they're just so excited about it. And I have to say, um, you know, if there's any any company out there that doesn't have a program like this, they may want to think about it. Um, you know, because as as we've talked about today, you know, you can do it in a company, you can do it in a business, you can do it in you know, in a nonprofit. You know, I mean. A, any type of any 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 situation, any, any really. situation where there are people that know more than someone else because mm -hmm. it's a sharing of knowledge and it's just uh, and it's, it's just open a, to it. It really right? is, and it's there's it just it develops that camaraderie that it, it, it's just a, a, a great a great win win for everybody involved. Excellent. Well, thank you, thanks, Lori Fortuna for uh, for joining us here today. This is such a fantastic forum to talk about this. If you're looking for any more information on any of the people that we profile here on WBOA, you can go to WBOA.org and look for more. Thank you very much.